Hey guys, today we're making a special dish. I don't think you've seen this dish before, but I'm preparing it today so I can make it and eat it throughout the week. Basically, this dish can either be made with lamb or ground beef. I'm going to be using ground beef and uh, it's typically a Middle Eastern dish, but it could also be considered to be a uh, African dish as well as an Asian dish. But my grandma would make this all the time, same with my aunt, and they would typically make this with chicken. So, but today I'm making it with ground beef, and there's also supposed to be almonds in, like inside the dish, but I don't have almonds, so I might add it at the end, but this is what I'm going to use, as well as the frozen vegetables that I'll add in, and chickpeas. Chickpeas, I actually soaked it overnight, and today I cooked it until it became soft, I'm going to add it to the dish that we're making today and this is a very nice 300 calorie type of dish. It's divided between four dishes, so at four meals, 300 calories per serving, as well as a nice amount of protein. Let me just write down the macros on the, on the screen as well as in the description. I'll include everything needed. But let's get right into it and we're going to start by dicing up the onions and then dicing up the garlic and I'll cook the beef with the garlic and onion with olive oil until the onions become translu translucent and the ground beef becomes brown and cooked. So first we're gonna do that and then I'll add in the vegetables and chickpeas as well as the rice. So we're going to take it step by step and uh, first I'm going to cut up, cut up the onions. This is basically a one pot meal that I'm going to make and this will be uh, enough for a few days between me and my brother. And uh, yeah, so it's a very nice way to enjoy your food without sticking to the normal foods of North America. This is a nice way to spice things up. And so let's get into it. First, we're working with chickpeas that have been soaking overnight. Soaking them helps soften and reduce cooking time. So let's give them a good rinse and then we'll add them to a pot. We're using one cup of chickpeas and we'll add about three cups of water. I'm going to cook them until they boil and then give it an hour so that way it'll soften even more. Next, let's slice up one large onion and three cloves of garlic. These will add a great depth of flavor to our dish. Onions and garlic are a must for this dish. So now I'm going to add the onions and garlic as well as the oil to the pot. I'm going to put the heat on high as well. Now it's time to add our protein. We'll be using 300 grams of extra lean ground beef. I'm going to add it to the pot with the onions and garlic. Break up the beef with a spoon and cook until it's brown all over. This should take about 5 to 7 minutes. Stir everything for a few minutes. Let everything, let all the flavors mix. Now let's add half a cup of rice and for our spices we'll use a bit of salt, black pepper, and cumin. Mix everything well. Pour one cup of water. Okay, this is looking done. The water at the bottom is all dry but I can still see some water in the rice. So what I'm going to do is turn off the oven and then leave it on the stove, on the hot stove. Mix it up a little bit and cover it. And it's pretty much almost done, like five minutes like this and that's it. Now let's check on the one pot meal, oozy, that's what we call it. Water is a lot less, looking a lot better. Yeah, it looks in, it's looking decent. Now I'm going to keep the lid off and just let the water evaporate. And that's pretty much it. Might top it off with the almonds though. And there you have it. Our delicious Uzi is ready. This meal is perfect for your weekly meal prep. Packed with flavor and nutrients. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit all the buttons. That really helps out the channel for more videos like this. If you really enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Until next time.